You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Ah, uh, right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. It happened when we escaped Castle Black. There were men chasing us and... That wound's fresh as can be. Are all crows liars or just him? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Thins, probably. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you co Just piss off. Some leader you turned out to be. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Garrett. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrett. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to, but... I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. <laughs> My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? 
Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Where's your mother now? Hard to say for sure. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother. <laughs> she didn't want to leave. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are assholes. Your whole village just kicked you out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. I wonder if her mother gave her that. Little Moon. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Oh, well, it's not so bad. What are you doing over here? There's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it turned out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Could you have been any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? They can try to kill me if they want. I won't let them. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Don't frighten our dinner away. It's my turn. Oh, really? You even know how to use that thing? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I never miss. Well, you're right so far. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> you ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrod. It's not much, but it'll last us.
You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again? Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Do you know where it is then? I know where they say it is. But you'd be mad to try and go there. Why is that? A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories that the cold couldn't touch it, that it's safe even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope, and none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! <laughs>